Hey friends, so come join me in a comfortable seat. I am totally chilling on my floor, so just get wherever you're comfy, you're totally welcome to lean back on something. And we are going to get into just a basic breath work that you can bring into your daily life. This is just a great like general day-to-day -day way to change your breath um, that will result in your nervous system being way more regulated just on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is a perfect thing to do like first thing in the morning. I do this before I even get out of bed. I will just lay here and just focus on this, focus on slowing down my breath. So you may notice as we get into this technique, you might feel a little weird. You may experience tingling, you may experience heat, you may even feel like your body wanting to fidget because we're going to be really dragging out the exhale, playing with holding the breath. You might feel this urge to like, you know, that like want to like take that next breath and that's totally fine. That's just, you know, your body has grown to expect the next breath within a certain amount of time. So when we're practicing slowing down and extending the breath, your body might be a little bit like, oh, what's going on? Like, this is weird. You may feel like you're fighting with yourself a little bit. Um, so I really want you to just be aware of that, know that it's okay. Um, I want you to come to that edge, right? Like this is, you might feel a little uncomfortable at first, and I want you to see if you can really, like, this is where the mind will come in. This is where the blending of the mind and the nervous system comes in, because you can use the mind to then tell your body, this is okay, this is safe, I can be here. Let me teach you the basics. One is stop being a mouth breather. A lot of us are breathing through our mouth and we don't even notice it. Um, so just close it right up and start getting into a habit of breathing in and out through your nose. Oxygenation also happens best when we are breathing in and out through our nose. We take in more oxygen breathing in and out through our nose. So the next step is to get out of habit of breathing into the chest. A lot of us are having the movement of the breath kind of come up here in our chest and we want to actually move it down into our belly into our diaphragm which is our respiratory breathing muscle so the diaphragm it's sort of like a parachute up here under our rib cage when you inhale it moves down to create space for the lungs it's sort of pulling in the air and then as you exhale it comes back up to sort of push the breath out. So it's a pull and a push, okay? We want the breath to be moving down. The lower you can get the breath, think like getting your lower ribs and your belly to expand rather than your chest, okay? So this will take some practice too. It's the practice of actually letting your stomach relax. Like you can't hold your stomach in and be all tight and diaphragmatic breathe. Uh, use your diaphragm, which can be really hard, especially coming from dance culture, just being a woman in general, we're taught to really hold our breath in, to suck in, to hide our stomach. So this could bring you right to that edge as well with comfort in letting your stomach relax, but just practice a little expansion, letting your belly balloon out and deflate as you exhale. You can also think about breathing into, you know, not just the front, but the sides and the back as well. So trying to breathe into like the back, the lower ribs here, where your kidneys are. Like we actually have 60% of our lung capacity in our back body here rather than our front. So just to make sure that you're kind of getting this 360 degrees of downward expansion in all directions. So downward, just think grounding down, send the breath all the way down to the pelvis, down to that root chakra, bring the prana home, okay? So using your belly breath and really trying to let your shoulders relax, let your jaw relax. You honestly don't even, you need to feel your, your chest moving at all. If you're breathing really well, your upper chest won't even move. <laughs> And the last thing is that we are going to be focusing on the exhale. We're going to 
Really play with consciously drawing out the exhale, like really getting all that air out, really completing the exhale. Okay, so the first breath that I want to teach you guys is a really basic one. It's used all throughout yoga. It's called Ujjayi, and Ujjayi is a restriction of the throat to slow down the breath. So here's how it goes. First of all, do that like, like you're trying to fog up a mirror. But you're gonna do that now with your mouth closed, but still making that same kind of noise. Okay, um, hopefully you guys could hear that, but on the inhale and the exhale, you sort of want your breath to sound like an ocean wave. That. <laughs> okay, so you want to keep that noise consistent. And what is happening is that your throat is being, we're creating a little bit of like a restriction. So you can't so quickly take the air in and out. So we're gonna, it's going to slow everything down, okay? So we're just gonna start with some ujjayi. And I want you to just take it nice and slow and just play with it and see how long you can really make that exhale and how gentle you can make that inhale. Go ahead and take a comfortable seat. Let your hands rest wherever is comfortable, maybe on your knees or in your lap. If it helps, you can even place your hands on your belly and maybe your chest just to feel that gentle expansion and movement through the breath. Go ahead and allow your eyes to close. Let your shoulders kind of drop down and back. Consciously relax your jaw, relax the muscles of your face. Just take a moment to ground in, feeling your sits bones on the ground, feeling your pelvis and your legs with this more heavy anchoring energy dropping down towards the earth. Relaxing the muscles of your legs, just feeling that rooted energy through your lower body, dropping down, 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 and then a gentle sense of lift and elevation and space being created up through the spine, up through the crown of the head, creating lots of space in the torso for the breath. Begin to play with that ujjayi, in through the nose, out through the nose, that gentle constriction. Starting off gentle here, you don't need to force anything, but just play with experiencing how ujjayi naturally slows down the breath. in the belly, expanding as you inhale, and deflating. Draw the stomach in as you exhale. A reminder to check in, let your shoulders relax. the inhale be gentle don't rush to get that breath tell your body you can slow it down you will get the breath when you get it there's no rush
focusing on feeling the inhale and feeling that moment of fullness at the top of the breath. And slowing down, down that exhale. And feel that moment of emptiness at the bottom. Can you feel yourself in those in-between spaces? It is safe to slow down. It is safe to take your time. After you complete your next exhale, go ahead and just let your breath be natural. You can let go of the ujjayi. Beautiful. So then we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to add on a hold of the breath at the top and the bottom, okay? So we're going to do what's called samavritti even breath or it's also called box breath where we're going to start with three we're going to inhale for one two three hold one two three hold exhale one two three hold on empty one two three okay so you can use ujjayi for this. You don't have to right now just to try it out. I'll start by leading the counts and then I'm gonna let you drop in and decide if you wanna stay at three, if that may be your edge. Maybe you can go up to four or five or six. Right now my edge is around 16 to 16 up, hold, 16 down, hold. So you can really push this. The longer that you can, the bigger your counts, the wider your window of tolerance, okay? So that doesn't mean right now you need to like push yourself and be like, I'm gonna just rah, like go super hard. Meet yourself where you're at. Find that edge where you're like, oof, feeling my capacity. I'm right there where it's like a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm not like starting to, you know, strain and then your next inhale is a <gasps> gasp for air, okay? We're gonna go as long as you can without gasping, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes, get comfy. You can bring your hands to your belly again, still using the belly breath. Go ahead and close your eyes, but still through the nose. So we're gonna inhale fully, exhale fully. And then inhale to begin. One, two, three, hold, two, three, Exhale, two, three, hold, two, three, inhale, two, three, hold, two, three, exhale, two, three, hold, two, three, inhale, two, three, into the belly, hold, two, 
three. Exhale, slow. Two, three. Hold, two, three. Keep going on your own rhythm. I'm gonna leave it up to you if you would like to increase the counting, okay? Maybe try four, see how it goes. Maybe try five. And you can play around with using ujjayi or not using ujjayi. Maybe a little easier with ujjayi because it's naturally gonna slow it down if you wanna get to that higher count. But see what your body likes. At the top of the hold, relax your shoulders, relax your body, surrender, drop in, feel yourself in that fullness. And same thing in the exhale, you're drawing the belly in, but the shoulders are relaxed. Keep the face relaxed, feel yourself in that emptiness. Become fully present in each moment of this breath. If you're feeling that air hunger where your body wants to get to that next inhale, slow down, remind yourself it is okay. Unclench your body, meet yourself at that edge of good discomfort. If you find your hands fidgeting or your body tensing, remain in the seat of your power, you are okay. <clears throat> See if you can surrender, relax more fully into it. It's okay if it feels really uncomfortable, right? This is the, the work of expanding our comfort zone. Feel yourself in the fullness at the top of the inhale, but relax the upper body. And see if you can really allow yourself to relax. Like consciously tell your muscles, your body to relax through the exhale and the hold at the bottom. You are safe, it is okay. let the counting go and let your breath be natural and just take a moment to be fully with your breath just take a moment to pause to ground to just take a normal breath into the belly in through the nose One final bump up. This may challenge you the most, but I want you to, just as always, meet yourself at your edge. We're gonna go into Asama Vritti, which is the same thing. We're gonna do the same box, but now we're going to make the exhale and the hold at the bottom longer. Let's say you're gonna do three for the inhale and three for the hold. 
then you're gonna do five for the exhale and five for the hold. If you're gonna do four for the inhale and the hold, then you're gonna do six for the exhale, okay? If you wanna do five for the inhale, seven for the exhale, okay? So start to play around with making the exhale longer than the inhale, making the hold at the bottom longer than the hold at the top, okay? Start with three, and then as soon as you feel comfortable there, bump it up to four. And if you're comfortable there, bump it up to five and seven. If you're comfortable there, maybe do five and then eight, okay? So start to play around. We're gonna take five more minutes here. Ugh, relax the shoulders. Let your hands come rest wherever. Again, feeling that expansion in your lower ribs, letting the breath come down here. Try to keep the upper body as uninvolved as possible, all right? Let's do it, you guys. If this is really challenging for you, you can always take a pause, just take one normal breath to reset and then dive back in. Don't be too hard on yourself if this is really uncomfortable and you're not enjoying it. It will get better. It's just a gauge on where your nervous system is at, so it's just data. Don't judge yourself, don't analyze, don't compare. This is just giving you a read on your nervous system and where what your current window of tolerance and capacity is at. So it's all good, whether you're really enjoying this or it's really challenging. As you do this, you may feel a warming sensation in your body, you may feel tingling, you may feel floaty. See if you can be in that space of simply observing how your body reacts to this. In this last minute, let's stretch it. See if you can add in one more count. 
That's where the transformation happens, right on that edge where it's uncomfortable and you do it. That's where the change happens. When your body learns, oh, we are doing this and we're surviving. That's when it learns it's safe to have bigger capacity. And whenever you finish this round of what of breath, let the breath ret return to normal, that even in and out through the nose into the belly. Feeling into your body. If there's any place that feels tense, just inviting your whole body to soften and to just get the message that we are good, we are safe here. It's safe to explore our edge and get out of our comfort zone. Be like, we just did that and we didn't suffocate. We made it through. <laughs> Learn that brain. <laughs> Learn it, nervous system. Go ahead and open your eyes. Mm. If there's any movement you want to do just check in take it slow you might be a little like <laughs> yoga high definitely this is how you get high on your own supply <laughs> so start to play with these in your day-to-day -day life especially in times when you may be stressed be with the breath practice that breath play with the ujjayi play with the box breath play with the counting of you don't have to just use the longer exhale and shorter inhale with holds you can also do four counts to inhale six to exhale if you do them consistently you'll notice a difference you will start to find that you are much more present because wherever the breath is is where the present moment is so the more that you give your breath attention, the more your awareness and attention is gonna be in the present moment, which is where you can actually find peace and contentment and connection with your body. Not when we're constantly worrying about what's gonna happen in the future or what we did yesterday, but like really being with the life force that's moving in and out of your body. So like I said, bring this into your meditation. If you have a hard time sleeping at night, do this laying down with your hands on your heart and your belly while you're driving, while you're, even when you're dancing, focus on the exhale. If you're in a really tough workout and you're like, whew, I'm feeling puffed, I'm tired, work on the exhale. We tend to, especially when we're working out, like be in that state of hyperventilation. So see if you can work on that exhale. You can do this when you're stretching too, like slowing down the breath will send the message to the rest of your body like, okay, we can relax. It'll help you with your flexibility as well. And again, if this was really challenging, good. Like we wanna come up to that edge. If it wasn't challenging, good too. Push it next time. Let's, let's see how we can expand that even more. You know, this is just showing you where you're starting at and you have all the potential to expand it. And the more that you get comfortable, you guys can feel it when you come right up to that edge of like, ooh, like I'm uncomfortable. And you can feel the body like almost reacting, like wanting to go into that instinctual, like <gasps> grasping for like air. 
where does that show up in your life too? That pattern of feeling like it's not okay. I need to like do something about it or be on edge or be hyper vigilant. Where can you instead soften and just be present? Remain in the seat of your power and tell yourself it's actually okay and I don't need to react with stress to this. So do that here with the breath and it will carry over in all areas of your life. Thank you.